Welcome to our course, Green Economy from China's Stories. In this section, we will learn about the three levels of circular economy development. We can see the three levels in this figure. First is the small cycle. Small cycle at enterprise level is mainly achieved through cleaner production. Medium cycle is at industrial park level, achieved through establishing ecological industrial parks. Big cycle is a circular society. Now, I will introduce these cycles from the small cycle to the big cycle. In this picture, we can see how the copper industry achieve enterprise circular economy by utilizing waste heat and tailings, etc. This is how small cycle is achieved inside economic entities, such as enterprise production base. Based on the material cycle within the enterprise, circular economy within an enterprise is based on cleaner production and realized through ecological economic efficiency based design of whole ecological system and production process. We can see from the figure that copper industry is ideal for demonstration. We can utilize waste heat and tailings by clean production to implement circular economy. One of the good practices of circular economy is made by DuPont. DuPont has implemented environmental protection since its establishment. It has upgraded the three R principles of circular economy by combining with industry making 3R manufacturing method. With this manufacturing method, wastes from production was reduced by 25%, and air pollution emissions from factories was reduced by nearly 70%. Next is the circular economy at industrial park level. It uses the material circulation in the industrial concentration area to build a medium cycle between enterprises, industries, and production areas. By clustering enterprises that produce different products in the park, different companies can build a resource recycling chain through trade. In this figure, we can see the circulation in the copper industrial park, including copper mining, copper smelting, copper product processing, and other chemical industries. Many enterprises that can exchange materials between themselves are clustered together. The wastes and waste heat of one enterprise can be utilized by another. By recycling others' waste, the overall emission of pollutants in the park was reduced. This is what we called a circulation at the industrial park level. One case for circular economic industrial park is Kalundborg Eco Industrial Park, Denmark. It is the case we mentioned when we first learn about circular economy. The Kalundborg Eco Industrial Park centers on power generation company, oil refinery, bioengineering company, gypsum materials company, and heating company. These companies turn the wastes or byproducts into their raw materials through trade, creating an industrial symbiosis and metabolic ecological chain that enables zero emission of wastes in the park. We frequently used this industrial park as an example when we started promoting circular economy in China. Last is circular economy at society level. We shall build a big city at society level, covering production and everyday life, based on the material flow of the entire society. We shall build an energy-saving, environmental-friendly society to maximize economic, social, and ecological benefits. We can see from this figure that during production, part of the material was made into products. When the products were consumed, they create wastes. We will recycle all wastes, whether created during production or consumption. The recycled wastes will be used as raw materials. This is the big cycle at society level. As for the big cycle on society level, we can learn a lot from the circular society model of Japan. In 2000, Japan promoted the establishment of a circular society as its basic national policy. As shown in this figure, 
Its system of renewable resources is composed of three subsystems. Waste Recycling System, Waste Dismantling and Utilization System, and Innocent Treatment Disposal System. There are many regulations for circular society in Japan, such as regulations for promoting domestic waste sorting. We could learn a lot from Japan. In Japan, there are trash bins marked with different colors, indicating that they only accept certain types of trash. There are regulations for the weekly schedule of waste collection for apartment residents. For example, Monday is Waste Paper Collection Day. Tuesday is Waste Plastic Collection Day. Wednesday is Kitchen Waste Collection Day. This facilitates trash classification. The whole society has become circular. This concludes the three levels of circular economy. Thanks for watching.